Have you ever decided like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get the advanced certificate or I'm gonna improve my English. And you sign up to work with a coach or you sign up for an online course and you go into it super excited, but little by little you begin to fizzle out and you end up quitting. Well, I was listening to a podcast episode the other day with this psychotherapist named Dr. Ross Ellenhorn, and he was talking about the role of hope when you're trying to make big changes in your life. He wrote a book called How We Change and 10 Reasons Why We Don't. And basically what he was saying is hope is not infinite. You can run out of hope. And when you set these lofty goals for yourself, it's important that you have the tools and the support and the backup to achieve it because otherwise you disappoint yourself and you prove to yourself that you're not able to reach your goals. And that means that next time you're not going to have the same amount of hope and you might not want to make those commitments to yourself anymore. So if you're thinking about starting a project to improve your English, it's important that you take a sort of comprehensive approach. It's not just about learning grammar and vocabulary, but also about setting the priority in your life, setting aside the time, creating habits that will help you to achieve your goal, finding podcasts or books that you want to listen to in English, a partner who can help you, other people who will converse in English with you. Set yourself up for success because otherwise you're going to kill what little hope you have left and that will hurt you not only now but in your future when you are more prepared to take on the goal. Hi, I'm Andrea Holm and I'm a life and language coach. I approach learning languages in a comprehensive way. Follow me for more.